Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. And in today's video, I'm not going to lie to you. This might be the lo most loaded video we have had on the channel since we really started pumping out these videos to y'all on a daily basis. We've got to talk about three recruits that Texas Tech football signed this weekend, give you a five-star Micah Hudson update, and then we'll look at the 2024 football recruiting class and where it is currently ranked according to Rivals in 24-7. But before we get into that, hit that like button if you were excited to see what Joey McGuire and crew are doing on the recruiting trail as it was an eventful weekend, really a past two weekends that were very eventful for the Red Raiders. Let me know by simply liking the video. And hey, this is what we're going to do. If there's big time weekends like this, we're going to talk about them here on the Back to 12 podcast channel. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, do that as well. But hey, let's get into these three commits that Texas Tech got this weekend. And we'll start out with three star running back Jacoby Williams. He is a three star, as I mentioned, from Beckville High School. He is a two way state champion in track and field as well, because of course he is. What else is Joey McGuire and crew going to go after? They're going to go after track stars all the time, right? A two-A state champion in the 110-meter hurdles, and then also the triple jump. He's a versatile guy. At the two-A level, you got to be versatile, right? He does a ton of things. He splits out wide. He's the running back. He plays on defense, had a couple of picks last year as well as a return man. He's a do-it-all athlete, really, when it comes down to it. But on the recruiting sites, they have him listed as a running back. He could really play anywhere on the football field you want him to, though. He stands at 5'9", 180. Last season, Williams at Beckville High School had nearly 2,400 yards of total offense and had 38 total touchdowns. That is ridiculous, okay? Williams also held offers from Texas, TCU, um, LSU, Baylor, Michigan, and others. He was a highly sought-after guy, and I would not be surprised if he's like other current Texas Tech commits that kind of trickle their way up that recruiting board in terms of maybe he's a four-star when it's all said and done. Speaking of four-star, Texas Tech landed a four-star wide receiver in Tyson Turner yesterday, and he is from Bryan High School, and like Williams, track star. That's exactly what Turner is. Um, Turner's a track and field star, but this time in the high jump in the 300-meter hurdles. Um, he is a smart wide receiver, stands at 6'1", really knows how to use his body well, and you'll see why I'm calling him a smart wide receiver because he's smart on the football field and he's smart off of it. I'll tell you some of his offers here in a second. He's ranked as the 309th best overall player in this 2024 class according to 24-7 sports composite rankings. And for those that don't know what a composite ranking is, it's both rivals and 24-7, and I guess on three now, all put together, they kind of formulate, get a number, and then they kind of spit out where these guys are, one through a thousand or whatever the number may be. He happens to end up as an almost top 300 player, according to 24-7 sports composite rankings, does Tyson Turner. He had offers from Utah, Boston College, Yale, Princeton, a couple of other Ivy League schools. As I mentioned, he is a smart guy. Um, is Tyson Turner. So those are the two first commits that Texas Tech landed on Father's Day. The third is Charles Anderson Jr., and this guy is an absolute behemoth, a three-star weak side defensive end from Glenn Dawson High School in Perryland, Texas. He is a long-rangey defensive end. I just told you he's a behemoth. He's 6'7", 240. 6'7", 240. 40. He also plays basketball at Glenn, Dyson High, Glenn Dawson High School, excuse me, out there in Perryland. And he also had offers from other Big 12 teams, including Kansas, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, then also had offers from Northwestern and other schools as well. A really good Father's Day weekend when it came down to it for recruiting for Texas Tech. And we'll talk about another guy that was on campus here in just a second. But before we do, Give me one word to describe Joey McGuire and crew on the recruiting trail. Just give me one word. Um, I feel like you could probably have 25 of them if I let you. But, hey, just for this one, one word to describe Joey McGuire and crew on the recruiting trail. All right. We've got to talk about Micah Hudson, the five-star wide receiver. Got to give you an update on him. By all accounts, everything I've heard from people close to the program and stuff that I've read online, he had a great, great visit to the 806. 
And uh, Tech, according to a UT Rivals reporter in Jeff Ketchum, said there's a thought in Lubbock. They took a commanding lead with this visit. I don't think it's to say anything in terms of not a surprise, but after he put that out, Ketchum did, he went and he made a crystal ball prediction on Rivals. And for those that don't know what a crystal ball prediction is, it's basically guys that are a lot more in the know than some people when it comes to football recruiting. They go in there, they give their predictions for fans to see. Um, and catch him. He's got an 82% hit rate. He put in a crystal ball prediction for Micah Hudson to land in the scarlet and black. Yes, Texas Tech. He thinks they have that much of a lead right now. And I was virtually told the same thing by somebody, actually multiple people in the know when it came down to Micah Hudson, that Texas Tech feels really good about what they did this weekend, not only with Micah Hudson, but this entire class and group that was out there. There was about 14 guys, 16 guys on campus this weekend for Texas Tech. Obviously, Micah Hudson was the highest rated and could be the highest rated recruit Texas Tech ever lands. But when you look at what they did this weekend, Texas Tech did a phenomenal job at supplanting themselves firmly, and I mean firmly in the mix, to land Micah Hudson. You thought they were in the mix before this weekend? They improved that and then some, right? This is one of those things where I'm not exactly sure when Micah Hudson's going to commit. It may not be till December. He mentioned that he might not commit until right up until football season or after it, his senior year, right? He's got that luxury. He's a five-star guy. Every school in the country is going to want him, right? But when it comes down to it, Texas Tech is going to be firmly in the mix until the very end of this recruitment process for five-star wide receiver Micah Hudson. I also want to say this. Follow him on Twitter. It's absolutely electric. Micah Hudson is not only a five-star wide receiver, but a five-star troll. And I mean that in the most respectful way possible. I think Twitter is he is going all in on trolling both sides of the fan bases of Texas Tech and Texas. And I'm here all for it. Right. I love when a player controls the narrative and it's respectfully their own narrative. Right. He's doing a phenomenal job of it. Go follow him on Twitter. He's an absolute must follow. And uh, go look at those likes and replies and everything that Micah Hudson's got going on. It's a lot of fun uh, trying to keep up to date with his recruitment. And even more so now that you get to dive into the Twitter a little bit. And before you all come at me in the comments, it's Twitter. I know it's just a fun part of the recruiting process. But I've got to ask you this before we get to the overall outlook of the 2024 football recruiting class as it stands right now for Texas Tech. Y'all see the bottom line. Will Texas Tech land the commitment of five-star wide receiver Micah Hudson? Give me a Y for yes or in for no down in the comments below. Again, Texas Tech is firmly going to be in the mix until the very end for a five-star wide receiver in Micah Hudson, who would obviously be the highest rated recruit in program history all right let, let's get out of there here on this um the 2024 texas tech football recruiting class texas tech if you go by 24 7 in rivals and look at them both they have a total of six four-star recruits in this class committed to texas tech currently they rank 20th on both 24 7 and rivals and sounds like there could be a couple of silent commits in there as well um, in terms of if you go off social media and what I'm hearing in the background as well, it sounds like there's probably about three, maybe four silent commits in the background as it currently stands right now for Texas Tech. And remember this, Joey McGuire has mentioned a couple of times in interviews, he said this is going to be a smaller class for Texas Tech. I believe the number he said was 16, so it's going to be under 20 for this class if you're Texas Tech. But still, you're landing some high-profile guys that could be high-impact players for the Red Raiders right away as soon as they step foot on campus. All right, one more time, I'm going to ask you this. Two questions, actually. Answer me this one. One word to describe Joey McGuire and crew on the recruiting trail. Again, I'm limiting you just to one word on this. And then, of course, I want you to answer this one. Will Texas Tech land five-star wide receiver Micah Hudson? A simple why for yes or in for no. I am RC Maxfield reminding you if you want the latest Texas Tech football news and rumors all year long, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the know right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.